Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Prayer Warriors. Baby J here from Tucson, Arizona. How's everyone? So maybe you guys don't have struggles, but recently, you know, with waking up early in the morning, it's a struggle for me to pray. So I think all of you for being here because I always have the purpose, you know, or a big reason that I need to get up because I know you guys are waiting for me to pray. So I thank all of you. So we've been praying for more than two and a half years, right? Since when COVID started. And uh, for those who been praying with me, thank you so much because I know that through our prayers, there's so many uh, blessings that God have given us for interceding others. And, you know, it's hard for me to wake up today because I started exercising, you know, as we take care of our spiritual body. Because as men, we are made up of body and spirit composite. We also have to take care of our physical body because, you know, we could only do so much for the Lord, you know, if we are healthy. We could do a lot of things. And, um, of course, if we get sick, we could still you know, do things for the Lord because we could offer our own sacrifice, our own pain and suffering while we are, you know, ill. So don't we should not waste our suffering, you know, anything that we could offer for the Lord to intertwine with his passion so that we could change, you know, a lot of people through our own sacrifice. All right. Hello, Nining. Thank you for being here. Hello, Sir Nerio. Thank you for joining us in Iloilo. And uh, hi, Nining Geraldine. So glad you're still awake because I know I am late. It's so hard for me to wake up this morning because I started hiking so that, you know, I be able to get into shape again. So my body hurts. But anyway, I'm glad that you guys are all here. And Annabelle and Chloe, welcome. Thank you for being here. Joining, see, they're joining us from Banili. So that means that the signal in Igberas is good. Because every time, you know, we do this prayer, they also have brown out. So that's why my mom could not join because of the Wi-Fi issues. But that's how the devil attacks us because, you know, the devil have access to electronics, right? Anything that is material things, the, the devil have access only our free will that the devil could not access. That's why it's very important that we use our free will, okay? And this is a good use of our free will because we actually willed, you know, to be here at this time to pray even though late at night or early in the morning for my friends here in uh, mountain time arizona especially hi merce and chloe good morning and hi ness thank you for joining from hong kong and inning harapa is already uh putting the link for our youtube channel because uh, sally is now in bukidnon you know she is having uh, because it's summertime, you know, vacation with family, which is very important. That's what I did for a few days. So, hi, Car. Thank you for joining from Manila. So, our topic today is still, how is the liturgy celebrated? Yesterday, we talked about signs and symbols. Today, we're going to talk about words and actions. Right? When we celebrate the Mass, right, there we do certain things. We kneel, we get up, right, we sit down. All of those have actually meaning, you know. When we sit down, right, we are ready to receive whatever God is, you know, uh, trying to tell us. When we stand up, we show reverence to God, right? And also when we kneel down, we show reverence to God. So for those who could not kneel down, you stand up when it, it's, you know, people has to kneel down. You stand up because sitting is not a reverence to God. Okay? Either you stand or you kneel down. So good morning, Tita Mimi. 
Thank you for joining from Arizona. So, we are now in Catechism 1153. A sacramental celebration is a meeting of God's children, okay, in Christ and the Holy Spirit. This meeting takes the form of a dialogue through actions and words. Admittedly, the symbolic actions are already a language, but the Word of God, the response of faith, has to accompany and give life to them so that the seed of the kingdom can bear its fruit in good soil. The liturgical actions signify that the Word of God expresses both his free initiative and his people's response of faith. Okay, God always initiates the action. We have to remember that. Okay, because God so loves us, he always initiates the action and it's up to us to respond. Okay. Hi, Hi Dan. Thank you for joining from Igbaras. So, the liturgy of the word is an integral part of the sacramental celebration to nourish the faith of believers which accompany the word of God should be emphasized. The book of the word, okay, the lectionary or the book of the gospels, its veneration, okay, its procession, incense and candles, the place of its proclamation, okay, either in the lectern or the ambo. You know, there are two, uh, like, tables, it's not a table, uh, where pe well, the priest and the lay ministers are speaking, right? Because the, the, those places, right, have significance, the ambo and the le lectern. So, the, it's audible and intelligible reading the minister's homily which extends its proclamation and the responses of the assembly okay the acclamation the meditations the psalms and the litanies and the profession of faith so in catechism 1155 the liturgical word and action are inseparable both in so far as they are signs and instruction and in so far as they accomplish what they signify when the holy spirit awakens faith he not only gives us understanding of the word of god but through the sacraments also makes present the wonders of god which it proclaims the spirit makes present and communicates the father's work fulfilled by the beloved son okay hi nina leia and hi my cousin father butch is joining us today so thank goodness what a blessing is that um singing and music okay the musical tradition of the universal church is a treasure of in estimable value greater even than that of any art the man the main reason for this preeminence is that as a combination of sacred music and words it forms a necessary or integral part of the solemn liturgy that's why there are certain songs that you know especially the pop contemporary music that's not for the sacred liturgy the that's why we have the book that where, where we sing because those songs are incongruent with the gospel right the, the if you notice that the songs that we sang in the church you could also see it read in the bible in the scripture Hello, Force. Hi, Floor. Thank you for joining from Manila. And thank you for sharing our video always. The composition and singing of the inspired psalms, often accompanied by musical instruments, were already closely linked 
to the liturgical celebration of the Old Covenant. The Church continues and develops this tradition. Address one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Singing and making melody to the Lord with all your heart. He who sings prays twice. That's according to St. Augustine, right? So even if we don't if we don't have a very good voice, we sing because you know that voice was given to us by God. So I know I don't have a very good voice, but I sing all the time because I want to give back to God what he, he blessed me, you know? Because it's in our heart, right? It's through our heart and our will to sing and praise God. You know, when you're happy, you like to sing, right? When we are in the church, we are so everyone is there, right? Everyone is there. The saints in heaven, the souls in purgatory, you know, they are the, they are the church suffering. The souls in heaven is the church triumphant. And we... Right, the church militants are all there. That's the only time when all the members of the church is together during the mass, during the liturgy. So song and music fulfill their function as it's as signs in a manner all the more significant when they are more closely connected with liturgical action according to the three principal criteria, okay, beauty, expressive prayer, the unanimous participation of the assembly. Remember, unanimous, okay? We don't go ahead that, you know, we stand out, right? We, we stand out on the crowd. You know, when we pray, we're supposed to be together. So we try that when we sing, we when we respond, that we respond together with the people in the church right the assembly the faithful so according okay the unanimous participation of the assembly at the designated moments and the solemn character of the celebration in this way they participate in the purpose of liturgical words and actions. The glory of God and the sanctification of the faithful. Okay. So, St. Augustine said, okay, this is in the Confession of St. Augustine, 9, 6, and 14. How I wept, deeply moved by your hymns, songs, and the voices that echoed through your church. What emotion I experienced in them. Those sounds flowed into my ears, distilling the truth in my heart. A feeling of devotion surged within me. Tears streamed down my face, tears that did me good. So sometimes, look at this, St. Augustine, when you know, this is his feeling when he was participating in the Mass, right? But sometimes, you know, when we go to Mass, we don't have feelings, right? It's like we're just going into the motion. Hello, Tita Ka. Thank you for joining from New York. But, you know, when we pray, it's not about emotions. We don't even need to have emotions to pray because it's our will to communicate with the Father that is more important. You know, sometimes when I pray the rosary, I cried. Sometimes, you know, I because I I feel the suffering of Christ and I feel the suffering of the people who message me to pray for them. But at times I don't have any feelings. And at first, you know, I feel I feel bad or I feel that I'm not really in tune with God when I don't have feelings, but I was reading about how pray, what prayers is, and most of the saints, you know, not all the time they have feelings when they pray, but they made it, it's their will. They willed it that on certain time of the day or throughout the day, they communicate with God, right? They don't make their day silos. What I mean is, 
you know, today I don't talk to God because it's not Sunday, right? I do all the things that we do for this world on Monday to Saturday and only on Sunday that we communicate with our Lord. But no, every day, right, we make it a point because when we wake up in the morning, that's already a blessing. We communicate with God. So what I do now is, you know, we do the prayers, but throughout the day, you know, even if I'm working in the ER, I see the I say the Jesus prayer, right? I taught you about the Jesus prayer that they that the monks were praying on the first centuries like the the first few centuries after the death of Jesus Christ. The Jesus prayer, Lord Jesus, Son of the living God, have mercy on me, a poor sinner. That's a complete prayer, right? And especially when I'm stressed, you know, well, you know, they they there to seek help, but they are not very nice when doing that. And I have to pray that I could be able to deal with them with compassion because sometimes you could not, as a human being, it's very hard, very, very hard to contain your emotion when you are there to help them and they don't treat you right. But that's why we say the litany of humility, right? So the same thing, when we pray and we communicate, we go to Mass. We do that because we want to give what is due to God, right? What is due to God is because this is what He wants. This is what God wants for us to do every Sunday is to go and worship worship and adore him we only adore god and worship god we don't adore the saints we don't worship the saints okay remember that the only person that we worship is god and god alone okay even mama mary we venerate we don't worship we don't worship the saints remember that because our this is the always the question of our uh, uh, friends that are not Catholic, that we worship all the saints and Mama Mary. So now you could tell them that we don't. We venerate them because they are good role model. They become triumphant when they were here and living their life on earth. So they are our role model that all of us could be saints because we have a role model and they already made it so it's doable okay we just have to have the help of the sacraments and the graces and the blessings of god and the mercy of god in order for us to be also successful right we could go all to heaven when we see success is when we reach heaven right that's true success so the harmony of signs songs, music, words, and actions is all the more expressful, expressive and fruitful when expressed in a cultural richness of the people of God who celebrate this. So what does it mean? Cultural richness. That means there is a nice touch of our culture that is being added to the Mass, the celebration you see in the Philippines, we sing our songs are different from the one here on the States, right? When you go to Germany, the Mass itself, the, sec the sequence of the Mass and all the prayers are the same, but their songs are also different, okay? Because in order for people to relate, because before the time of our fathers, the Old Testament, even in the New Testament, each uh, regions or each part of the promised land, their celebration, their songs and everything are different because that's how we relate and that's how we, you know, give worship and adore God. And everybody could relate if there, our culture Okay, whatever we we uh, already practice in our culture, it's included in the mass. So, hence, religious singing by the faithful is to be intelligently fostered so that 
in devotions and sacred exercises as well as liturgical services in conformity with the church norms. The voices of the faithful may be heard, but the text intended to be sung must always be in conformity with the Catholic doctrine. Indeed, they should be drawn chiefly from the sacred scripture and from liturgical sources. So the key is the songs, right? Should be drawn from the scripture and the liturgical sources. Okay, so heavy metal, <laughs> pop culture, we don't put them in our music because that's not the way to adore God, right? We don't do that. So the other thing, okay, I know that this is not part of the topic that I need to um, talk today. But the most important thing is, you know, when we, uh, when we worship someone, hello, Mayor Jubik, thank you for joining us today. So the, the way we go when we see someone who's very prominent, you know, when we visit King Queen Elizabeth, of course, we dress well, right? We dress um, the best dress, of course, the, the best outfit that we could find when we visit somebody who is very important. Is God more important than all these people in the world? I know I am also, uh, when I did not understand, you know, how worship and everything, oh, I, especially growing up, I also go to church wearing shorts, wearing sleeveless, right? Wearing, you know, dress that, that to me should not, should not be even worn in people who are dignitaries because I did not know. But now, but now we know that we're supposed to be dressed properly right because we are visiting the house of the king of kings we should be dressed properly so that means we should not be wearing shorts or revealing clothes so for parents be sure to tell your kid not to wear things that is not appropriate to be worn when you are meeting somebody very very important okay so that's my sidetrack today because I think it's very important that as adults, we have to teach the young generation how to dress properly in places that are, you know, sacred and holy. And the church is one of them. So, hi, Nini Leia. Thank you for joining us. Oh, my goodness. Oh, good. Tita Carmen is already in YouTube. And, of course, my mommy, Letty and Artie. Good morning, and Agnes, thank you for joining us. And of course, my Tita Nanette is joining us from YouTube. So today, we will be meditating the, um, what is today, Wednesday. So it's going to be Glorious Mystery. So let's prepare ourselves, prepare our heart to reflect the Glorious Mystery so that the lessons that God wants to reveal to us through these mysteries, you know, we will see areas of our lives that still needs to be changed because they are not pleasing to God. Okay? And we could do this little by little and that we're going to ask for courage, you know, to go against the flow because that the way the world is, the way we live sometimes because we want to fit in with the world we are displeasing god so by doing the reflections of the glorious mysteries we pray that the holy spirit will guide us in order to not conform the way the world is, but to conform to the will of God, that we will be docile to the will of God. So let's take a few deep breaths. Take a deep breath through your nose and do it slowly. 
and let the fresh air fill your lungs. And let go. You could also already feel that your body is relaxing. We'll do this one more time. Breathe in. And hold it for four seconds. Emphasis of your lungs filled with fresh air. And let go. As we let go, as you let go, also let go of everything that is not of God. Unforgiveness in our hearts, our anxieties, pain, hatred to those people who have hurt us in the past, hopelessness, jealousy and envy. And now we're going to replace those spirits. Let's mark ourselves as we belong to the family of God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Breathe in me, O Holy Spirit, that our thoughts may all be holy. Act in us, O Holy Spirit, that our work may be holy. Draw our heart, O Holy Spirit, O Holy Spirit, that we always may be holy. Amen. Daily prayer for the carrying of one's cross. Lord Jesus, you died upon a cross to build a bridge between heaven and earth. You rose from the dead so that we might rise again to live eternally in your heavenly kingdom. May the fruits of our length of devotion and our acts of love and charity reflect the compassion you have for all humanity and lead others to intentionally follow you in this life and in the next. Grant us the grace and wisdom to follow you ever closely as we carry our cross daily. Amen. We offer this Holy Rosary and the Divine Mercy Novena for the following intention. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings that you have given us, especially for the chance to pray together as friends and family. We are here today, your children, to thank you for all the blessings we receive for answered prayers, and for the gift of the Eucharist, so you're always in our hearts. Please give us a heart that will always burn to love you and forgive those who have hurt us. We are binding our children and the children of the world in this rosary and the Divine Rosary Novena, so Mama Mary and St. Joseph can parent them as they did with Jesus. For our leader, especially our newly elected officials, so they will continue to protect life from conception to death, and that they will be stellar public servant in some ways or form. Because there's so many people who are suffering, who are starving for the people of Ukraine. Please protect them as they're fighting for their freedom. And may all the world leaders use all the resources and their power to maintain peace for the safety of Cardinal Joseph Sen, who is still in jail in Hong Kong, for good health of those celebrating their birthdays this month, especially James Flores, Gurley Igiko, James Dophilis, Nining Harapa, and in it, Mildred Ensho. For all the fathers, grandparents, and mothers who are acting like fathers, may they 
persevere and tending to the kids entrusted to them to bring them closer to God and to heaven. For safety of all frontliners, especially my co-workers, the secretaries, paramedics, housekeepers, food services, transporters, the scribes, especially the priests who are giving the last rites, and for the success of my friend's business, who's just starting, for all IDPNs, so we will focus on our mission of building a culture of caring, that we will rejoice for all our successes, but most of all, to defend those who could not speak up for themselves and to alleviate the sufferings of others. For those who are looking for jobs, may they find dignified work. And for those having financial difficulties, may they feel comfort from those who have plenty. For special intentions of Father Miguel, Father Dixon Davis, and their mission to Madagascar, Bishop Kikanas, Father Butch, Father Romain Sobaldo, Father Ronnie Gonzalez, Father Juji, Father Timeliesa, Father Danny Montania, Merle Wen, Nang Baby Midas Yellow, Carolyn Escanlar, Father Albert Miranda, Julieta Barber, Flora Bartosilio, Jeanette, and Biboy Brania Fe. Bless Noblesa, Clyde Pilly, Bell Palma, Carrie and Chris, Val Boatner, Mommy, Art, Mommy Letty and Artie, the Tanalyon family, Rosal and Rosalina Gansha for healing of body and spirit of the following. Thank you guys for praying for my friend Carolyn's surgery. It was a successful surgery. Carl Joseph Perez, Ricardo Sidano, Joey Aluso, Father Benji, Clarence Marie Mediavilla, Lucia Ibalanta Caizan, Idi Pruitt Flora, Rebecca Yaldama, Ramon Urofan, Sami Madden, all my patients, Annabel Ejercito, Romeo Ilumarag, Tita Flore Nepasena, Tess Eluso, Arlene Olivares, Nancy Fadesfina Cochran, Emelda Fernandez, AJ Eliana, Isaac, Carol Grace Euphemia, Father Shodo, Nuno Jun Istose, Karen Gibson, Patsy Arandia, Luchi Santander, Margaret Enric Ross, Jenalyn Sagabia Manalo, Mary Grace Idhan, Father Martin Nyland, Max Espania, Pedro Escorpizo, son of Tita Becky, Tito June, Tito Rowley, Tito Henry, Tito Elmer, Momen Jamal, Baby Xander, Tito Enrico, Chrisma Velasquez, Joey Almeda, Mam Sote, Rochelle Kim Tan, Thang Wen, Luisa Alparo, Father Matthias Thelen, Richard Eckle, Rosemary Oviedo, Christian Kai, Beatrice Echaleco, Josefina Iscanlar, Jen Jesso Samonteza, Mary Grace Escobanes, Antonio Iscamilian, Anthony, Antonio Rojas. For those called by God ahead of us, may they be granted eternal rest, especially, and also consolation to their family. Especially Tutu Julius Alulosan, Joseph Paul Tababa, Teresa Igamen, Simitsa Nakasawa, Jake Weiss, Manang Elena Delgado, Zaldi Escorpizo, Elias Sofisciencia, Freddy Combate, Tessi Sabio Velia Espana, Tita Ines, Tita Nena Hinko, Tita Pilar, Cartagena Zach, Percy Costes, Cosette de Guzman, Luis Hicana, Beatrice Islabra, Grace Elie, Father Freddy Paulo, Efren Martinez, Juan Escaba, Ua Esteba, Carolina Iaiti Miller, Bibito Calendes, Fred Asistido, Adam Espanola, Lilia Estoleros, Jim Colat, Pipito Escalarga, Sony Incanto, Ricardo Yaldama, Carmen Sarabia, Nestor Harapa, Eustachia, Ineluna, Exaltacion Albao, Pato Imboltorio, Sosimo Ilambor, Beatriz Estupado, Elsa Estraza, Joseph Calderon, Elsa Escara, Escaran, Tony Encho, MJ Iscanyan, Cesar Escobanes, Father Rich Monilo, Miguel Inebrad, Antonio, Antonio Estimo Angeles Taton, Felipe Idang, Stephen Lourdes and Lourdes Lipianic, Angelo Narin Loizaga, Jose Santiago Mina, Lourdes Ilamparo, Mario Vachon and Ant Antonio Gonzaga, Berting Imanic, Alma and Andy Estribor, Rafael Eclavia, Connie Thelmaben and Rafael Rapatan, Salvacion and Rosario Meliesa, Jandy Hoff, Maria Cervantes, 
Antonio Boulevard, Milagros, Idhan, Danilo Tamises, Lolita Esteba, Tommy Ismail, Tensions of the Prayer Warriors of St. Hannibal, St. Augustine, St. John Paul II, Christ the Good Shepherd, Soldiers of Mary, St. Anthony, SD Family, St. Monica, Members of the Real Women, Our Ladies, Miss Father Peter Prokoskiewicz, please give them excellent health so they will pray fervently for others and for all the intentions worries, sufferings that we keep in the silence of our hearts. Let's unburden our hearts and offer them all to Mama Mary. The litany of humility, let our response be, deliver us, Jesus. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear us from the desire of being esteemed, deliver us, Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver us, Jesus. From the desire of being extolled, deliver us, Jesus. From the desire of being honored, deliver us, Jesus. From the desire of being praised, deliver us, Jesus. From the desire of being preferred to others, deliver us, Jesus. From the desire of being consulted, deliver us, Jesus. From the desire of being approved, deliver us, Jesus. From the fear of being humiliated, deliver us, Jesus. From the fear of being despised, deliver us, Jesus. From the fear of suffering rebukes, deliver us, Jesus. From the fear of being calumniated, deliver us, Jesus. From the fear of being forgotten, deliver us, Jesus. From the fear of being ridiculed, deliver us, Jesus. From the fear of being wronged, deliver us, Jesus. From the fear of being suspected, Deliver us, Jesus, that others may be loved more than I. Jesus, grant us the grace to desire it. That others may be esteemed more than us. Jesus, grant us the grace to desire it. That in the opinion of the world, others may increase and we may decrease. Jesus, grant us the grace to desire it. That others may be chosen and we set aside. Jesus, Grant us the grace to desire it, that others may be praised and I unnoticed. Jesus, grant us the grace to desire it, that others may be preferred to us in everything. Jesus, grant us the grace to desire it, that others may become holier than us, provided that we may become as holy as we should. Jesus, grant us the grace to desire it. Amen. Prayer of Command In His name and by the power of His cross and blood, I ask Jesus to bind any evil spirits, forces, and powers of the earth, air, fire, or water of, of the netherworld, and the satanic forces of nature, by the power of the Holy Spirit and by His authority. I ask Jesus Christ to break any curses, hexes, or spells and send them back to where they came from, if it be his holy will. I beseech thee, Lord Jesus, to protect us by pouring thy precious blood on us, our family, our friends, and those we come in contact with, which thou hast shed for us. And we ask thee to command that any departing spirits live quietly without disturbance. And go straight to thy cross to dispose of as doses fit. I ask thee to bind any demonic interaction, interplay, or communications. I place, name the person, place, or thing under the protection of blood of Jesus Christ, which he shed for us. Amen. So think about the person. A place or a thing that you want the whole that you want the devil to be dispelled. Prayer for our priests. May God send us holy and courageous priests. And also for guidance of the following seminarian. Seminarians are the Charles Villanueva, Clifford Espinosa, and Clyde Yucashon. O Jesus, our great high priest, hear our humble prayers on behalf of thy priest. Give them a deep faith, a bright and firm hope, and a burning love which will ever increase in the course of their priestly life. 
in their loneliness comfort them, in their sorrow strengthen them. In their frustrations point out to them that it is true suffering that does speak to your heart your sons who are close to you. Be their comfort, be their joy, be their strength, and especially help them to live and to defend the ideals of consecrated celibacy. Amen. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From then he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. For the attention of Pope Francis, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For the increase in the virtue of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be world without end. Amen. The first glorious mystery is the resurrection. Mary's message. You are a sign that God is alive. You must stand before the world as a witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And a sign that God lives. In his infinite mercy and love, God made you one of his Easter people. In holy baptism, ask yourself this question. Does Jesus Christ, risen from the dead, make all the difference in my life? Queen of heaven, rejoice because your son has risen as he foretold. May the risen Jesus be the light of our life, the joy of our heart, our constant intercessor at the Father's right hand. May we be willing to suffer with Christ, that we may be glorified with Him. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who need most of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery is the ascension. The people of God are like the men of Galilee who stood looking up to heaven. His people know that heaven is the holy city to which they journey as pilgrims. May all advance in joyful hope and confident that God will keep his word and glorify them for all eternity. Dear Blessed Mother, we know by faith that Christ has opened the gates of heaven. He is even now preparing a place for each of his servants. Help us always with your maternal and merciful aid, dear Mother of God that we may be faithful until we come to the glory of his presence. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. 
Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who need most of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit. There is a sense in which Pentecost is an ongoing miracle. Christ is continually sending his spirit to make his followers better Christians, more effective witnesses, more authentic lovers of God and of God's children. The more receptive we are, the more the Holy Spirit will work in us and through us for God's honor and glory. Dear Blessed Mother, it was after the Holy Spirit first came upon you that the Son of the Most High took flesh and formed within your chaste body. May we remember always that it is with your cooperation, together with the same Blessed Spirit, that Christ wills to be formed in us. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who need most of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery is the Assumption of Our Blessed Mother, Mary's Message. As your thoughts turn heavenward, consider a few statements of the saints. St. Bonaventure, the gates of heaven will open to all who confide in Mary's protection. St. Fulgentius, confidence in Mary is the ladder uniting heaven and earth. St. John Damascene, to serve the queen of heaven is already to reign there. Dear Blessed Mother, Enthroned in the Father's kingdom, you reign gloriously with your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Pray for us that we may believe more firmly in the reality of heaven and desire it more earnestly. In that hour, welcome us with your Son so that we may dwell with him forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who need most of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of the Blessed Mother as Queen of Heaven and Earth. Mary's message, you have cause for rejoicing, cause for inexpressible joy touched with glory. As St. Peter said, an imperishable inheritance is kept in heaven for you. A crown of glory awaits you. Every day brings you closer to your inheritance in an everlasting kingdom. Queen of heaven and earth, teach us to apply the lessons of the rosary mysteries to our life. When our last rosary on earth is said, assist us with your maternal protection. May we safely reach the paradise where you reign with God forever. Please grant the same loving help to those for whom our blessed Redeemer purchased the rewards of eternal life. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women. And blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb. Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, worlds without end. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious, advocate thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's pray to St. Michael to protect our family especially the weakest members of our family our children saint michael the archangel defend us in the day of battle be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and the thou prince of the heavenly host by the power of god cast into hell satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruins of souls amen May the divine assistance remain always with us. And may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The divine mercy novena, we're gonna, we are now on the first day. Today, bring to me all mankind, especially all sinners, and immerse them in the ocean of my mercy. Most merciful Jesus, whose very nature it is, to have compassion on us and to forgive us. Do not look upon our sins, but upon our trust, which we place in your infinite goodness. Receive us all into the abode of your most compassionate heart and never let us escape from it. We beg this of you by your love, which unites you to the Father and the Holy Spirit. Eternal Father, turn your merciful gaze upon all mankind and especially upon poor sinners, all enfolded in the most compassionate heart of Jesus. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, show us your mercy, that we may praise the omnipotence of your mercy forever and ever. Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world fountain of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, we trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, we trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, we trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is thy fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From then, he shall judge the living and the dead. He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body. And so in every beat, let's intertwine the sufferings of our friends and family, especially those who could not talk about them. And we also offer this for those who are ill with COVID. And those people who are taking care of them. Eternal Father, we offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. 
For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. Eternal O holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Jesus, we trust in you. St. Faustina, pray for us and the whole world, especially for those who are about to die on this day and have no one to pray for them. Have mercy on their souls. Amen. Thank you, Mama Mary and St. Joseph and all the angels and saints who are here with us today. Please bestow the same blessings for all the prayer warriors who are not able to join us because of Wi-Fi issues. And for those who are starting their day, May all their words and their actions will be pleasing to God. And for those who are about to sleep, may all please give them a tranquil and undisturbed rest. We ask this to the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your Son who lives forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, everyone. That was a long prayer, right? And then... So you see, we are building our endurance in praying. Hello, Chris. Thank you for joining from Manila. And Mafi and Faye, thank you for joining us from Pavia. And Half Crazy, thank you for joining us. And Hi, Sar, thank you for joining us from Japan. And of course, Juji is always here joining us. So tomorrow we would not have any prayers because I start working nights for the next few days. So I'm going to let you know when we're going to have the prayers because I could not make it on time here because my shift is 7 p.m. to 7 in the morning. But continue praying with your family, okay? Rest assured of my prayers. God bless everyone. So if you have anybody that you want us to pray, you know, message me, okay? Hi, Nene Jane. 